see. All right, guys. So let's see. Chrissy, I guess we started the recording. So we are going to go ahead and kick this off. Hi, coaches. And I wanted to welcome all of you to our Team Perseverance first ever Coach Refresh Surge. This will be a live event tonight, and it will last about an hour, and there's going to be different leaders um, popping on and talking to us all about hot topics that will either kickstart your business if you are a new coach, or it will reignite your business if um, you are a coach that uh, needs to um, get that fire back, right, and, and get excited again about our coaching business, because this is such a wonderful opportunity. So I hope that everybody has a um, pen and paper in hand because you are going to get um, a lot of little nuggets of information today. We are going to be very laser focused and I am very excited to be able to kick this off. So my name is Kelly Delavecchia and I am a One Star Diamonds coach. I am a success starter and I am also the founder of Team Fierce and Fab. I have been coaching now for almost three years. In July, it will make three years and I am so excited to be able to talk to you all tonight about one of my ultimate favorite topics and that is challenge groups. So challenge groups are truly the crux of our business and the bread and butter of what we as coaches do. So what is a challenge group? For those of you who are new, a challenge group is basically a quiet, I'm, I just have to make sure everyone's muted. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit of uh, pushback here. Uh, can you guys just mute your lines? Uh, let's see, sorry. You're gonna have to help us out. All right. All right, well, if you can hear me mute your line, I'm having trouble muting everybody. I hear a little bit of feedback. Um, group, and it is held in either um, a secret Facebook group or it is held through the Challenge Tracker app. So as coaches, what we do is we form relationships with new people, and um, after we start to understand their needs, um, health and fitness-wise, they purchase a challenge pack, right? So once they purchase a challenge pack, that basically bundles together everything that they need to be successful. So it includes their workout DVDs and a calendar that comes along with that, which teaches them um, what workout to do on what days. It comes with a 30-day supply of Shakeology, which is um, our dense nutrition. It is a meal replacement shake, all natural. It comes with over 70 superfoods in it. I'm so excited. I'm waiting for my um, vegan Shakeology to arrive any day now. Um, it comes with a nutrition guide, and a lot of the newer programs um, come with the color-coded containers, too, which help people with portion control. It comes with a virtual coach, which is all of us, and it comes with a 30-day online fitness group, which is what we call challenge groups. So really, the challenge packs offer people everything that they need to succeed. So our job as a coach is to help them with three main things. We want to help them with their nutrition. We want to help them incorporate exercise into their lives, right, and follow their program. And we want to show them the value of accountability and get them excited um, in, in, in being a part of the challenge group and feeling supported on a daily basis. Because we all know that accountability is truly the secret sauce, right? That's what sets our business and what we do as coaches aside from everybody else out there in the weight loss industry. So once challengers are added now to our online accountability group or our challenge group, we take them through, as coaches, it's our job to take them through their 30-day journey. So some of the things that we do is, you know, we can support them in understanding their nutrition guide. We can um, 
print out maybe a, a sample grocery list. There's tons of different resources that Team Perseverance has, um, that your upline coach has access to. But basically, we wanna supply new challengers with anything that we could possibly supply them with that will make things easier for them over the next 30 days. We want to make sure that we're giving them tips on how to schedule their workouts into their crazy lifestyle, right? Our number one excuse that we hear from people, one of the number one objections is I'm too busy, I can't do this. So it's our job to show them that we're all busy and yes, you can, it's all about scheduling and planning. So supporting our challengers in that way and giving them tips and tricks that we've learned along the way that might help them. We also want to make sure that they are enjoying their Shakeology and that they have truly found um, a recipe that they love, or maybe they want to get creative with recipes. Um, but the opportunities to um, you know, change up Shakeology uh, recipes are just endless, and we want to make sure that they have found a good fit so they truly enjoy Shakeology, since that is such a huge piece of this puzzle. We also wanna make sure that we are checking in with them privately every couple of days to make sure that we are um, supporting them however we can. Um, sometimes in challenge groups, especially in the beginning, people are a little reluctant to be um, you know, engaging with people that they don't know. So it's really important as coaches that we are supporting them on the outside of our challenge groups too every few days. Um, seeing how we can support them, seeing if they're struggling in any way, and helping them navigate themselves back on um, the right path. We are always there to answer any questions. And basically, guys, our job is just to be cheerleaders for them because we want them to have a very positive experience because if they have a positive experience, they will start to see the value in the process, right? And enjoy challenge groups and enjoy the support and the motivation that they're getting. And they're also going to see the value in the products. And ultimately, our goal is to foster lifelong challengers because that becomes our team, right? Another reason that challenge groups are really, really important um, for our business is because they help us as coaches maintain our own health and fitness journey. And let's face it, we are our own walking billboards. We are our best advertisement. So it's really important that we continue to work on our own health and fitness journey. So be a product of the product. Dive headfirst into challenge groups yourself because that will keep you excited about your own health and fitness journey. And when you're excited about it, it's easier to talk to people about your journey. And it also helps you be able to share your journey on social media so that potential challengers can see because we're inspiring people when we're sharing our journey. So the more you live this, the better coaches we become because we're in the trenches with people and we're truly um, not only just talking the talk, but we're walking the walk as well. So challenge groups honestly are such an integral part of what we as coaches do so I just gave you some some highlights as to why so I'm just gonna recap them quickly challenge groups help us foster a community of lifelong challengers and ultimately that turns into our team which grows our business right Challenge groups also serve as a really great platform for showing people how fun living a healthy and fit lifestyle can be. And ultimately, that will hopefully um, you know, create those lifelong challengers um, and just a really great community of people. And challenge groups also help us as coaches maintain our own health and fitness. And that in turn inspires others, right? And it helps us share this beauty of health and fitness um, you know, with, with people who are in need of a change and in need of our help. So with that being said, I would love to turn the mic over to my beautiful friend and fellow coach, um, Michelle Della Sala, and she is going to be chatting with us tonight about the Coach Online Office and the importance in understanding that. Can you guys hear me okay? 
So awesome. Thank you, Kelly. And I am so excited to be on this coach surge with all of you. My name is Michelle Della Salle, and I'm a Star Diamond coach. And I'm going to talk to you about the many, the one valuable tool, and it's not the only one, but it, it is almost like our hub for getting information through Team Beach Body, and that is the coach online office. Now, the one thing about this is it could definitely be very overwhelming. You could get lost in this for days. Um, so I'm just going to give you kind of a shell of an overview of what is on the online office that can help you in your day-to-day -day tasks and in planning out for your month, your weeks, and your goals, and how it can help you grow as a person and grow as a coach um, and grow your business. So I'm going to share my screen right now because I want to be able to show you it. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Can you all see my screen? Can you give me a thumbs up? Awesome. Perfect. Okay. So when you log into Team Beachbody and you go into Coach and then Coach Online Office, this is what is going to come up. This is your main page that's going to kind of give you a breakdown of all of the important information that you need to know as a coach. If you are a brand new coach, I've gotten so many messages. What is my coach ID? It's right here on the top left. There is your coach ID. So if you sign on new coaches that don't know where their coach ID is, this is a very important place for them to look. Um, it tells you what your rank is, a couple of important phone numbers up here, and emails, your upline sponsoring coaches. This information is about your volume, which we're going to talk about a little bit as well. Um, and then down here are where some of your alerts are. Um, sometimes, I don't know if the website is kind of finicky, so I'm going to show you how to get more accurate information. But down here, it tells you how many coaches you have in your organization. Now, that doesn't mean new coaches. I'm sorry. That doesn't mean coaches that you've signed up, but that means people in your downline um, may have signed up coaches. This is how many coaches you might um, have projected to be inactive, which is really important, and I'm going to show you and tell you why in a minute, um, how many personally sponsored coaches you have, and so on. So these are some alerts that you can go into and get some good information. I am going to talk to you a little bit about volume, but that is kind of where I'm going to go into a little bit more, but it does tell you your left leg volume and your right leg volume. Um, obviously, the one that has higher volume is your stronger leg. Again, I'm not going to go into that, but when your coaches talk to you about volume this is a place for you to go up here is a really important area usually everyone's is on success club and you're gonna find out what that means actually next up but it tells you how many success club points and yes frown I have none right now but it doesn't mean I'm not gonna hit any for April um, and it actually tells you if you are active or not and you need 90 actually P, uh, 50 PV and above to be active Okay, so this is some major information here as well. Um, leadership ladder, another huge important tool, which again, like I said, you can spend hours on the coach on online office. The leadership ladder is another key benchmark that you're gonna wanna familiarize yourself with, but this kind of tells you where you are from the last month, how much your commission was, did you hit success club, what your status was, what your volume was, where you are this month, and then where your next rung is projected to be. Okay, if you go into team volume right here, it kind of gives you a little picture, a little visual, and then your personal volume is here. Again, another little visual or graphic. So there on that main page, you have a lot of information there. To the right side, there also is a, another great tool, and that's the coach breaking news. I would suggest checking this every single day because um, Beachbody always puts their main um, tips on here, what is new, sales that are going on. There's always, um, you know, at least once a week, oops, a nice, um, sorry guys, new computer, a nice training um, tip or tool that they put on for you. Sorry, I'm going to scroll back, um, which is also always really helpful. Sorry, guys, I clicked into one of them. So um, so that is another great tool. And, it, and you can kind of go back into the archive and see what's going on there. See how it says view archive. There's a lot of great um, training tips and tools for you to take a peek there. So that's really important. Another huge tool, and you do not want to forget where this is. 
these are your videos, okay, your video library. So when you want to send a prospect or somebody information about a you know particular program or maybe Shakeology, there's a ton of great videos in your video library. So if you click on here, and you have to do this from a computer, guys, it does not work from your iPhone. Um, you can't download it from there. So what you want to do is, is you want to obviously hit English or Spanish if you speak Spanish. And I'm hoping it works. Yep, here's your video library. And again, there are tons of videos, and you can either play them or see where it says share. You want to click that, and you can literally copy the link. And it's copied and you can paste it and send it to someone before you send obviously just like you before you send any kind of information any kind of videos or anything you always want to preview them and there's all of these tabs over here whether it's training videos you're looking for products Shakeology there are videos about everything so that is a really great tool that I would suggest that you all take a look at again it's very overwhelming so maybe you know say to yourself oh this week I'm gonna check out four videos on these different programs so just set goals for yourself and and definitely take a peek at all of the videos there and find your favorite ones and make sure that you um, copy them paste them to yourself and then you can save them um, either in an email on you know Google so that you have them when you are working from your phone but for whatever reason right now you can only download them when you're on the computer okay kind of going back so that's kind of the basics of the first main page now again you're probably saying to yourself oh my god that's a ton of information I'm not going to go crazy I'm just going to again give you the nutshell and suggest that you take the time to go into it and really delve into each thing because there's a ton of information when you first signed on as a coach, your coach should have told you about the um, seven day quick start, getting started right, just to kind of show you where that, or the business quick start, I'm sorry. If you go to start here and you go to the CEO welcome, okay, this is a little welcome letter from Carl Deichler, and here is the business quick start. This is something that you want to suggest that your new coaches fill out, or if you're a coach on here who hasn't really done many things with the business or you haven't done things in a while you could go back on here because there again is a lot of great information that um you know you want to know you want to know your coach id and here's some names that are you know going to help support you obviously i don't need to read all of this but this is again a good place that you want to make sure that you tell new coaches to go to there's training videos here there's ways to connect on social media um, a lot of great information Okay, another thing that I want to show you, how do we get paid, guys? Main thing that a lot of people are wondering, right? You, yes, can still get a check sent from Beachbody to you with commissions, but you do get charged, I believe it's $2. Who wants that, right? We want our money, we want it now when we're ready. Just so you know, Beachbody is on a schedule of a week behind, and we get paid every Thursday. So in order for you to get direct deposit, this is a key thing that you also want to tell your coaches, right away when they sign up you're gonna go to my business and my EFT manager and that's gonna ask you for information about your bank so you can set up for direct deposit okay another really big key is my websites you can go to your websites you have your Beachbody website you have your Shakeology website and you can go there and you can cater and tailor it to yourself so that's another really great tool. So you want to make sure that you, if you haven't done that, you hit those things up. Again, I told you there was a lot of information, but I have to be finished in a minute, and I want to turn it over to the next coach. But definitely take a look at these tabs, okay? My business, my downline. It's going to show you who all of your personally sponsored coaches are. That's another huge thing that you definitely want to make sure you check especially every Tuesday and Wednesday night because it will tell you if you have coaches that go inactive. And when you have coaches that go inactive, it could mess with their Shakeology orders and your things. So you want to make sure that you're always keeping your challengers and your coaches engaged and active. And obviously under news and training, huge, huge videos and information. So I've spoken enough. I've given you a lot of information. There's a ton more. Don't worry about it. There's plenty of time. But I would like to turn it over. I have to stop sharing to my fellow coach, Shanna Banana. And she's going to talk to you about Success Club. 
Great. Thanks so much, Michelle. You did great. Same to you, Kelly. You guys could hear me, right? Thumbs up. All right. Um, I'm still seeing Michelle on my screen. Let me exit full screen. Hold on one second. Okay. Um, okay. So I am here to talk to you guys today about Success Club. But before I do that, I just want to um, introduce myself for those of you that don't know me. My name is Shanna and I am a three-star diamond coach. Um, I've been a coach now for three and a half years. Um, I'm a Success Club legend, which I'll explain to you what that is um, in the next few minutes. I was a 2014 premier coach. I'm a success starter. And um, I'm proud to say that I've hit Success Club 41 months out of my 42 months of being a coach. Um, yes, I did miss it one month, but that's okay. I moved past it. All right. So what is Success Club and how do you earn it? Uh, basically, what Success Club is, is a, a, it's a reward system that Beachbody has put into place um, to help us build our business. Um, basically, every month, my goal is to hit Success Club, and that should be every, every, all of your goals as well. Hitting Success Club will definitely help you um, build your business. Uh, the way you hit Success Club is... Um, by, by um, helping other people. So basically, if you sell a challenge pack, you will get two success club points for every challenge pack you sell. You will also get two success club points for every Shakeology home direct order. So again, with the Shakeology, your customers must have their order on home direct in order for you to receive any um, success club points for that. So um, again, you will get two success club points for a challenge pack sale, and you will get two success club points for a Shakeology on home direct sale. Um, now, just so you know, you will only receive two points for, for, for any customer, only two points, regardless of how many challenge packs um, they purchase from you. So uh, you... In order to receive Success Club points, they must be new customers um, buying the challenge packs or the, the Shakeology on Home Direct. All right, so basically, why is it so important for you to hit Success Club? Um, basically, hitting Success Club will help you grow your business. It's, it's a benchmark that you must meet every month. It should be a non-negotiable non goal every single month. Um, in order to hit Success Club, you need to at least help three people every month, okay? Um, helping three people a month will give you six Success Club points, which will allow you to hit Success Club five. Now, if you want your business to grow, Success, success Club 10 should be what you're aiming for, and that would be helping at least five people a month, okay? So five people a month with two Success Club points for each each of those people will give you at least 10 points. Um, and again, if, if you want your business to grow, Success Club is a must. Um, okay, so now the next thing I want to talk to you about is the rewards you get for hitting Success Club. There are tons of rewards that you get for hitting Success Club. And if that doesn't make you want to hit it, um, I don't know what will. But uh, the first one is a success starter. Now, you heard my, myself. I said I was a su success starter. Um, Kelly is a success starter. And I know Michelle was a success starter as well. And what that basically means is that you've hit Success Club in the first three months of your business. And after you hit Success Club in the first three months of your business, Beachbody will give you a free ticket to Summit. Now, that's worth at least $200. Um, and let me tell you what um, Summit is. Beachbody's Coach Summit is uh, their biggest event of the year. Uh, this year, it is in New Orleans. I've been to Summit twice. I was in Las Vegas, and I was in Nashville. And I have to tell you that it was the most amazing experience I've ever had. Um, so that is definitely a must in your first three months of working the business, hitting success. Success Club will get you your free ticket to Summit. Um, next one would be your monthly prizes. Every month, Beachbody gives um, people that earn Success Club a prize of some sort. Every month, there's something. So basically, this month, um, the Success Club prize is um, a Beachbody backpack. Now, I can tell you, I would love to be sporting that backpack with me um, when I go on vacation or hiking or whatever it may be. So my goal is to hit Success Club this month. Um, I've gotten tons and tons of prizes. I've gotten um, uh, programs for free. We've gotten, I'm looking around my, my room to see what I've gotten. I've gotten um, 
so many things. <laughs> um, the big balls, like the workout balls, exercise balls, uh, tank tops, sweatshirts, uh, so many things that you would want to get for free that they're giving it to you. Um, the next thing is you earn, if you hit Success Club and you are an Emerald coach, you get free leads, which that's a whole nother topic in itself. But what that basically is, it's a, it's a free customer from Beachbody. So what a lead is, is if somebody is purchasing from the Beachbody website or from an infomercial, Beachbody will assign them a coach. And if you are an Emerald coach and you hit Success Club, you may have the opportunity to uh, get a free customer. Now, if you hit Success Club 10 and you, get, you have the opportunity to get Shakeology leads, which basically right off the bat, that's somebody that purchased Shakeology and you will receive um, commission on that order right away and then you'll get commission on it the following month and not only will you see the commission but you could reach out to that person and that person could be your next diamond coach um, that's somebody that's already believes in the product and has bought the product you don't have to you don't have to sell them anything not that we sell because we share but they have already bought the product product and they're ready to drink it or work do the workout and you're there to be their coach um, one, another thing that you get from uh, hitting Success Club is recognition. Now, guys, who doesn't like to be recognized? Uh, a job well done, a pat on the back. We all love recognition. And if you hit Success Club um, five uh, for a full year, 12 months in a row, you will be a Success Club all-star. And if you hit Success Club 10 for 24 months in a row, you will earn the um, title of Success Club Legend. Um, and what basically what that is, is um, at any live event, so at our quarterly Beachbody events or at Coach Summit, you will be recognized for being an all-star legend or an, uh, a Success Club all-star or a Success Club legend. And like I said, who doesn't like to be recognized? Um, so that's, that's pretty amazing. Um, but last but not least, um, what you can earn if you hit Success Club are the Success Club trips. Um, guys, this brings tears to my eyes because three years ago, I went to my, on my first uh, Success Club trip. Uh, I, I actually brought my husband on vacation with me. We went to Cancun um, with Beachbody. I earned a free trip. Um, I earned money towards my airfare. Um, I basically paid absolutely nothing for that trip. Um, and I can't even begin to tell you the memories that I made, the time that we had. Um, it was truly, truly amazing. Um, I didn't go on the Success Club trip last year, um, but I am going this year. And it's in a week from tonight, well, a week from tomorrow, we will be heading to uh, Punta Cana. And again, it's an all expense paid vacation for myself and my husband. And it's just truly amazing that just by helping other people, we're able to earn all these rewards that Beachbody gives us. So I saved the last, the best for last, which was the Success Club trips. Um, and guys, if that's not incentive enough to um, want to hit Success Club every month, I don't know what is. Um, it's it's going to be a truly amazing time, and I cannot wait <laughs> for next week. So um, there's so many more things I could say, but again, we all only had 10 minutes to speak. Um, the one thing I want to um, end off with is by telling you, if you have any questions about anything I've said tonight, um, or if you want to learn a little bit more about Success Club, just go into the back office where Michelle was just showing you around. And if you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see um, it says FAQ. Just click on FAQ and type in any question you may have and anything and everything will come up. So if you have questions on Success Club, just simply type in Success Club and anything on Success Club will appear um, in the FAQ and all of your questions will be answered. So um, that's it for me. And I will, would like to introduce the next coach. Um, it's our rock star coach, uh, Kristen Atkins. And she is going to be talking to us tonight about the power hour. Hey guys, I'm setting a timer, legit 10 minutes. Cause I don't know how much I can talk. All right. Can everybody hear me and see me? Yeah. Thumbs up. Okay. Hey guys, how are you? Thank you, Shanna. Um, Shanna, yes. All about Success Club is kind of what I'm going to be talking about, piggybacking off of that, is how important your power hour is. But first, let me introduce myself. Um, my name is Kristen Atkins. I am a six-star diamond coach in my first business center, a one-star in my second business center, one-time elite coach. Um, my husband, Dave, and I um, were summit speakers last year. 
Um, I am the founder of Team Fit and Free, and I am also a retired school teacher. So up until two years ago, I taught kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. Um, and I, the reason why I wanted to do Power Hour um, to speak to you guys tonight was because my Power Hour was legit what got me home from my full-time job. All you need is an hour a day. I mean, as you grow your team, you'll need a little bit more time, of course, but all you need to get started and be successful is an hour a day. And if you're laser focused in that hour per day, and I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do, um, you can really grow your business. And again, this power hour and giving you all the um, activities that you need to be doing during that time frame is what's going to help you hit successful, like Shannon was just talking about. So they are kind of linked together. Um, it's really important that you are consistent in this business and that you show up every single day, even on the days you don't want to. Okay, um, the power hour is designed to help you stay focused on the tasks at hand. So I'm going to give you some tips first, and then I have a visual I'm just going to share with you, and I'm going to break up your power hour into 15-minute blocks so you kind of could see what, what your day would look like. So the first thing I want to tell you is um, you break up your power hour according to your schedule, okay? You do not have to do a full hour back-to-back, -back, you know, straight straight through the hour, um, whatever your schedule allows. So I know some people do, um, you know, their friend requests first thing in the morning when they wake up, um, or, they, or they send their invites at night. Um, so whatever works best for your schedule. When I was a teacher, I broke up my day three different times. I did it in the morning before work, I did a little bit on my lunch break, and I did the rest at night when the kids went to bed. As long as you are doing the business building activities every day and get to those before you put your head on the pillow at night, your business is going to grow because you're going to be talking to a lot of people um, and you're going to have a lot of fish swimming in your pond so you can hopefully hit success club, right? And that will grow your business um, exponentially. Um, the other thing is while you're doing your power hour, if you're messaging people, turn off your notifications and make sure you're in a time frame where you have zero distractions. Now, I know if you're a parent, like I am, zero distractions is very difficult. That's why I would do it in the morning or when the kids are in bed because you want to make sure you're focused. If you have people messaging you back, during your power hour, do not answer them. You want to get through all the necessary um, activities before you go start answering people because that could be part of your follow-ups for the next day. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You do not have to answer people right away. They're going to live without you, I swear. Um, create um, and work off of a list. You don't want to just go sit down at your computer and go, okay, who am I going to message tonight? Who am I going to follow up with tonight? You want to have a list, um, which comes down to also being organized with your information. So. Um, maybe on a Sunday night or a Monday morning, you sit down and you go through your Facebook friends or social media, whatever you're using, and you create a list of 20 people that you'd like to contact this week. A lot of times I use the people that I'm going to send messages to from the likes and comments on my posts. And again, if you're posting consistently, um, you're going to get people that are liking and commenting on your page. Okay, so you want to have that list to work off of. So as soon as you sit down for that power hour, you are laser focused and you're looking at your list going, all right, I'm number one, number two, number three, I'm going to message them first. Okay, and staying organized is huge with that, guys. You have to find a method that works for you. Um, I'm a pen and paper girl. I do have all my stuff stored in Evernote. Um, I know people do Teamsy and Streak, and there's lots of amazing resources. I've tried all different avenues. Um, honestly, I have a binder and that kind of works for me. Um, I just keep all my scripts and things like that on Evernote so I can work my business efficiently while on the road and from my phone. Um, and you want to do it daily. Okay, guys, you do not have to spend a lot of time on this. If you, if you get behind with your daily to do's, um, for your power hour, you're going to be missing the boat. You're going to be missing those conversations and getting those extra people on board with you if you are behind. If you only do it once or twice a week, think about this as, as like if you own a restaurant, right? You're a business owner when you're a coach. If you owned a restaurant, you wouldn't open your restaurant two days a week, guys. You would open it seven days a week, right? And if people keep coming to your restaurant every single day and they have good service and they, they have somebody that's there and they know it's reliable, they're going to come back to you. If, you're, if you close, you know, three days a week, four days a week, what kind of restaurant is that, right? That's, that's you running your own business. So you're the CEO, you decide how you can break this time up, but you also need to be all in if you want this to work and be consistent with it. Um, check the files of the Team Perseverance page. We have some cool um, resources for you guys. We have a Coach Daily to-do list, which I created um, when I was a teacher because I was like, oh, I need something to just check off as I go each day. That was really helpful to me. 
Um, and then I think Gina Strecco uh, posted something called the Empower Hour, which is really a great resource. It's in the Coaches of Team Perseverance in the Files tab, okay? And you can go to YouTube. YouTube has great videos for Power Hours to show you exactly what to do, aside from what I'm kind of throwing at you kind of quickly. So I'm gonna share my screen really quickly, and then I'm gonna just break this up for you. One second. All right, can you guys see this? Yes? Okay, thanks, Cal. <laughs> okay, um, so these, in the, the first top, the 15 minutes on the left, prep time, make your list of 20 for the week. However that's gonna work, make it work, but have that list ready to go. You wanna send three to 10 new friend requests every single day. This is probably the most important piece. Um, and then the second piece is messaging them. Um, so three to 10, you decide how much you can do in the time that you have. I highly suggest if you wanna grow your business quicker, you do 10 to 20 new friend requests, okay? And basically you're gonna go to um, find friends under Facebook friends and um, there's suggested friends that come up or you can type specific places in like your high school or your college um, and suggested friends are gonna pop up. You do wanna make sure that you have mutual friends in common before sending them and you wanna make sure the mutual friends in common are not all coaches because that is stepping on toes. All right, and the second part of this 15 minutes is doing three to five follow-ups. That means anybody that you reached out to in the past, you're going to follow up with them. Guys, the fortune is in the follow-up. That is true and true all the time. Message somebody if they haven't messaged you back, a quick little, hey girl, how are you? Um, I was just following up because I never heard back from you. Or my famous one that I always use that gets people to answer is, um, hey girl, how are you? Um, I just wanted to make sure you got my last message. And a lot of times people are busy and they see it quickly. I just did it to Melanie today. Melanie sent me a message this morning, I listened to it, and then I never answered her until like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so it happens because we get busy. All right, your second 15 minutes is going to be three to five non-beach body conversations. Again, if you wanna increase the rate at which you grow your business, you're gonna definitely do those five non-beach body conversations. That's literally reaching out to the people who accept your friend request and saying, hey, thank you so much for accepting my friend request. Um, you popped up as a suggested friend. Do you happen to live in blah, blah, blah? Or you go to their page, you see anything you have in common with them, and you message them about it. Hey, do, do your kids go to Katona Elementary School? Whatever it is, I like to ask a question so that they answer me back. And it's just a little back and forth, and then from there, I, um, I follow them and I like and comment on their posts, and then in a couple weeks, it's okay for you to send them an invite because you've had that conversation. Um, one to two challenge group invites. Now, you can choose how you wanna do this. If you wanna do you know, five every three days, that's fine too. Whatever way you wanna do it, depending on your time schedule. But if you do one to two every single day, that works as well. Again, this is gonna come down to how you wanna work it into your schedule, this is your business. Um, another 15 minutes, check-ins. You wanna check in obviously with your challenge group every day. You wanna see how your challengers are doing. You wanna give them um, some feedback, check in with them privately, check in your coach's online office, your coach's page, um, check in with any of your own coaches um, and your challengers. I just wrote check-ins with two people per day. And the last thing is 15 minutes of recognition and plan your posts. So if you have extra time in your day, try planning some posts for the week or some good ones, you know, um, on Sunday nights, we encourage you to share what coaching has done for you um, or do a recognition post of a challenger or a coach that you're super proud of because everybody really likes recognition. Now, your daily non-negotiables do not count in your power hour, obviously. Um, your PD, drinking your Shakeology, and your workout. Guys, you have to get those in. Those are your non-negotiables. Your PD, I know a lot of people will put this last because they're gonna say, I don't have time. Find the hidden time. I used to listen to it on my way to work on Audible. Um, uh, now I listen to it when I'm cleaning up in the morning or when I'm getting out of the shower and getting dressed. You find those hidden minutes and you have to make your PD work. There goes my timer. And I think I'm done. Um, okay. Let me just close this out. Did everybody see that screen? I hope so. Okay. 
So guys, your power hour is the secret to success to help you grow your business. Again, you're the CEO of your business, so you decide how fast or how slow you wanna go, how many people you wanna message daily. I will tell you this, doing the 20 friend requests and five beach body, non-beach body messages every day has helped my business tremendously. I'm at Success Club 26 right now, which I've never hit that high, and the majority of them are new people from my 20 and five. So I'm telling you, if you're consistent, and I only started a month and a half ago, but if you're consistent, over time, that starts to snowball, okay? So I am, the next guy is ready to go. I am going to introduce uh, my husband, Dave Atkins. He is gonna be walking you through the five-step invitation process. So once you do get to talk to these wonderful people who wanna join your challenge group, this is what you're gonna follow. All right, have a good night, guys. I'm gonna send him over. And at 9 20, so she'll All right, cool. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? So let me just make sure the speaker stuff is here and where am I? Page two. Perfect. So hey guys, welcome to this surge. I'm super excited about it. I, I did not get to look. There's a lot of you on here, but my name is Dave Atkins. I'm the founding coach of Team Perseverance, eight star diamond, two time elite coach. And I'm super excited to come to you guys on something that I think. Um, is super important in the five-step invitation process. And I want to share um, this picture here, if I can find it. There we go. Because this kind of is going to paint a picture of what we're going to talk about, and then we're going to get right into um, the actual doc itself. So, guys, the five-step invitation process, why is this important? <clears throat> this is a five-step system that has that has worked to take somebody that you're speaking to as a new prospect all the way up to closing the deal as a challenge group. Now listen, I still to this day, <clears throat> to this day, still copy and paste and personalize it to meet the person I'm speaking to, the five-step invitation process. This way when I keep track and I'm organized, I know exactly where I am with every person. So if I send somebody step two, I can be organized and send and write down, you know, Kristen Atkins at step two. So I use the five steps, I copy and paste it. I also highly recommend to everybody, especially um, even myself, I still do this now as a veteran coach. If I'm out and about talking to somebody, I will not what I like to call coaches normally do, vomit on them with information because we rush the process, we don't trust the process. And the process is the five steps. And we tend to talk too much a lot of times when we're in person. So I'll quickly say to somebody, if they're saying, hey, you're doing that 21 day fix, I will tell me more about it. I'll just say, you know, I'll tell them a little bit about the program and I'll just say, hey, why don't you give me your email or if you're on Facebook, here's my phone, send me a friend request right now, where are you? And I'll send you some information as soon as I get back. Um, at home to the computer. This way, I then can go to the five steps and I control the conversation. The ball's in my court. I can take a deep breath. I can slow down and I can copy, paste, and personalize the five steps. So in this picture here, this is basically from an umbrella look and then we're going to break it down what the five-step invitation process is, right? Step one is always the invite. Step two is always getting their why. Step three is sharing the video, the ever feel like this video or the beach body success story video. We'll get into that in a second. Step four is the specific details and step five is closing the deal. Now guys, I can tell you this and if there's one thing I want you to take away because I get hundreds of questions of this all the time, you know, on the coaches page, privately from coaches, on this team, outside this team, David, what do you say when the person says, I want to know more information or I want to know how much it costs? Guys, no matter what the question is, you always can funnel it to the five steps. So if somebody's like, David, uh, which program am I going to do? How long is the Beachbody program? If I have not gotten their why, which is step two, right? If I know like they're by step one because they're asking me about joining the group, but they're they're front end loading this, they're front loading this with all these questions. How much is it? How long is the group? And they load it. I just take a deep breath and where are we at? All right, the invite's done. Have I gotten there? Why? No. So then I'll simply say, you know, tell me a little bit more about you and your goals. The more I know about you, the better I can point you in the right direction and answer all of these questions. I take control of the conversation, all right? Not them going at their pace. So I bring them back to me, to step two. And I think so often when people get a lot of questions, we get frazzled 
and we skip and we want to answer the questions, but instead you need to go back and take it to the step, go to the steps. Did I do step one? Yes. Did I get there? Why? No, I didn't. Let me get there. Why? Which is going to go into my, my next screen, which I'm going to go right, quickly go over the five step imitation process. And I want to let you guys know that these five steps are a document that is on the Coaches of Team Perseverance on our page. If you go to the file section, guys, and under the file section, there is a doc for the five-step imitation process, and this is it right here. So basically, it says right up top, copy, paste, and personalize. The five-step process, don't change it, don't put smiley faces, leave it be. Um, five-step beach body challenge in imitation process. So step one is the initial invite if you're reaching out to them first. Hi, and their name. I'm forming an online fitness support group this month, and I have a few more spots left. Before I invite this long list of people, would you like to hear more about this? All right? Very important right there. You are not trying to give them all the information in the first message. Ask if they want to hear more, and if they do, then go to the second message, which is step two. Step two is getting their why. Hey, Joe, thanks for asking me about the Beachbody Challenge. I'll send some details in a video and another message. But first, I have to ask you, why are you curious about this challenge? What makes you want to know more about our group? The more I know about you while you're interested, the better I can help you by directing you to the best information. Guys, I'm going to tell you, this step is the one that 99.9% .9 of the time coaches skip because they don't want to ask the important questions. But this step not only is it important because it lets that person know you actually care about what their goals are, but later on in step five when you're trying to close the deal and you're giving your website link and they give a price objection, which will happen at times, you don't have their why to go back and remind them, hey, you told me you want to lose weight because you've been holding the baby weight for the past 10 years. Step two is so important and it doesn't need to happen in one message. You may need to go back and forth and stay in step two. They tell you, I want to lose weight. You may say, you know, why do you want to lose weight? Tell me more about that, you know? So get into that. You want to get into step two. Step three, guys, is introducing the Beachbody Challenge video. I'm going to kind of move quick because this document is there for you to look at your time. And it basically saying, wow, I totally understand. I have no doubt that this challenge group will help you. And then you repeat, you repeat their why from step two. You made a great choice to take a look. You, it explains what the Beach Body Challenge is the group we're doing. Here's a short video to take a look. And, and here's the link. Ever feel like this? This is the video with the YouTube link. All right? You can also send them the Beach Body Challenge group success story video in lieu of the Ever Feel Like This video, or you can send them both. All right? That video is in your Coach Online office, and I also put the link here. You just need to add your screen name in that spot. Don't take out anything else. Step four, guys, is once they watch the video, you're getting to the specific details and commitments, which is explaining what the group is. It's explaining, um, this actually should be updated. It should be 30 days. So guys, just FYI, that should say 30 days is the Beachbody workout program. You do everything at home. It explains when we start. I know I'm moving quickly, guys, but this is all there for you. And it breaks it down. It explains to them what they normally, you know, would get. Do you already have a Beachbody program, Shakeology, or do you need to order both, all right? Then step five is the enrollment, and normally it explains to them, great, most people get the challenge pack. Guys, today the challenge pack that basically 99.9% .9 of people are getting is the all-access Beachbody On Demand challenge pack because with the way streaming is these days, this is the Netflix of fitness, and it gives them 12 months access to everything. All right, so that's step five. So again, guys, when you're talking to somebody, no matter what rank you are, use the five steps. If you're in person with somebody, take their information, finish the conversation in private message. And remember, no matter what questions you get, no matter what people say, you always go to the five steps. A lot of times we rush ahead, don't rush, don't rush step two. And remember, guys, that this is the nuts and bolts that's going to help you take it from the invite to close the deal. All right? So, guys, that's the recap on the five-step invitation process. I actually think I have, like, 20 seconds to spare. But I know um, our five-star diamond coach, Sharice Nolson, is next on social media training at 920. 
I want to see if she's on here. She may be popping. She may I'm be here. on two. There she is. She's on. So, guys, I'm going to kick it over to one of my coaches, the awesome, amazing Sharice. Bye, guys. Thanks, Dave. Hey, guys. So, I am Sharice from Nolson. As Dave said, I've been coaching for about three and a half years. Um, I'm a five-star lifetime diamond. I'm a success club legend, which means I've hit um, – I've hit Success Club every month since I first started coaching, my very first month, um, and I'm a one-time elite coach as well. So I want to talk about social media, which is something I love to talk about, and it's something that I could talk about all night. But to sum it up, it is really one of the most important things you can possibly put your focus on. Um, but what I also want to say is that I have seen many coaches jump into social media and do an amazing job with it. But they're so into social media that they forget the other part of it, which is inviting. So you cannot be out there sending tons of invitations and not having a consistent and thorough social media process. Just like you can't be on social media all the time and not invite. They go hand in hand. One doesn't work without the other. So the thing about social media is that it basically is your reality show. You get to serve whatever kind of messaging about who you are and what you do. You get to serve that and choose what it is to the world. And if you are the kind of person that feels like, oh, you know, I, I don't really want people from high school or grammar school or my old job or something to think of me a certain way, then whatever, then you start from scratch. That's what's so important about adding new people to your network, as Kristen talked about, each and every day. And you start presenting them with the image of who you want to be. You are basically acting as if. And I've talked about this before, but when I started as a coach, I have acted as if I was an emerald coach. When I was an emerald coach, I acted as if I was a diamond coach. And I would project that kind of confidence. And doing that on social media is so important. So you want to make sure to post at least three times a day. Um, you could go for five if you'd like, but no more than five. And you don't want to just be sharing, you know, memes all day or just sharing other people's content. You want to present your brand and who you are. So only one of your posts each day should be about beach body, health, fitness, motivation. Really, that's what you should start with because, you know, you don't want to kind of be shoving it down people's throats. You want to show that you're a full person, um, but that this is a consistent part of your life. So for your other posts, you want to be sharing whatever goes on in your life and you want to be very, very real. You don't want to be real in the way of complaining, but you do want to be real as far as showing your struggles, showing your weaknesses, showing your challenges in life, because people are not attracted to perfection. They're attracted to seeing somebody real like them. And the more you are who you truly are and who you truly want to be, the more you will the kind of people that you want to work with, the kind of people that you want in your challenge groups, the kind of people that you want to be friends with, the kind of people that you want to be teammates with. So if you're not authentic and if you're not true to who you are, then you're not going to be attracting the right people for you. So um, something I like to think about with social media too is that when you get a no or when you get a not right now, which happens to all of us so, so much, you know, um, what really happens at that stage is that that person starts watching you on social media. So you may feel that initial sting of rejection, but it's all the more reason that you have to step up your social media presence and make sure you are posting something related to your wellness journey every single day because they want to see, like they may be trying to figure out, do I trust this person? Is this person the real deal? Do these products really work? Is she just trying to make a sale or is this truly something that's part of her life? And if you're not putting it out there every single day, then they have no reason to trust that. And I have people on my team, you know, that I Literally, like, there's people that I invited, um, like, some of the first people that I ever invited three years ago that joined, like, six months ago, like, watched for three years. People watch for that long. But then when they come on board, they're so ready, and it's because they followed and followed and followed on social media. Um, another thing that is really important is doing posts that um, – 
form interaction. So interaction could be defined by someone liking um, your post, commenting on your post, or sharing your post. And you want interaction because the more interaction you get on a post, the more Facebook will serve it to other people. So asking a question at the end of a post is a great way to get interaction. Literally telling what people what to do for your post, like when I, um, a lot of times when I do a recognition post, I'll say something like, please like this post to give so-and-so a round of applause for her hard, her hard work. Like tell them what to do because it may not occur to them. They may just be scrolling through, you know, when they're in bed or something and then they see a mom kicking butt and they want to show positive support, then they're like, oh, I just have to like the post, and they'll like the post. So you want to tell them what to do. Um, when you share recipes or great food pictures, those things tend to get shared. Um, so giving recipes and providing value to your audience is really important. You want to show people that you care about their health and fitness, whether they you know, are buying a challenge pack from you or not. When people see that you truly are passionate about health and fitness and nutrition and when you're sharing stuff that is of value to them, they will appreciate you more and they will be sharing those kinds of posts with others. And especially making sure that your posts are public is important for that reason. And I know a lot of people when they first start are a little bit hesitant with um, the privacy settings. If you, let's say, don't really want pictures of your kids to be, um, to be public, then fine, keep those private setting, and then you can change the ones that are health, fitness, motivation to public settings, so those can be shared by other people. Um, what else do I wanna say? Let me look at my list quickly here. Um, oh, as far as sharing your struggles, this is really important. You don't wanna make your Facebook timeline all about your struggles, but there was a great national wake up call on this um, recently, like within the past two months, where the person was talking about that she was calling them her gremlins, you know, and she wants to make sure that she's sharing a gremlin with people, you know, every couple weeks or so. And I find that that's so important because people love to show support for others. And if you are honest about your struggles, like I'm really open about things I struggle with, with my kids, with my health, etc. I find that people really truly want to be there for me and it makes me really want to be there for them and it's this mutually beneficial relationship. So you want to make sure that you are sharing those struggles for sure. Um, and I have like a minute left, so let me see what else I want to say. Um, Yeah, and so, um, sorry, I have so many things that I want to say. And for those of you that are using a like page also, I don't want to really get into the like page too much, but one of the most common questions that I get when I talk about social media is, should I be posting the same stuff on my like page and on my personal page? And the answer is yes. You know what? Put it out in every social media place possible. So if I'm putting up a post, I put it up on my personal page, I put it up on my like page, and now I put it on Instagram too. Because those people that follow me in various places will see it more often. And it's okay if they go up at the same time, it's okay if they go up at different times. As long as you're putting yourself out there as much as possible, that's what you really wanna do. And the other thing that's really great about um, like what we're doing with the 20 and five group, like sending 20 friend requests and um, then sending five messages each day is when you private message people, like what Kristen was talking about with the non beach body conversations, even the more you private message people, the more they're going to see your regular posts in their, in their timeline feed. So um, that's a great thing too. It's another reason for you to just reach out and say hello because people will start seeing your posts more. And then for anybody who is truly, last thing, I'll stop right here, but for anybody who's truly a prospect, someone that you're really talking to or someone you want to get to notice you, you wanna make sure that you're liking and commenting on their posts on a regular basis because then they will see your posts even more. So that's it. I wanna thank everyone for um, spending this hour with us. And don't forget, we have another hour at the same time tomorrow night with lots more great content. This was recorded. The recording will be up by tomorrow morning, I think. So have a great night, everyone, and thanks so much for your time. Good night.